Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be locking in this Eclipse Plus pack, this Dark Matter Plus unsellable pack for uh, hopefully a good Dark Matter. I'm crossing my fingers. Honestly, there's a lot of good ones I could get. KP would be incredible, obviously. I would like Larry Bird. Sean Kemp would be decent. Jay Butler would be okay. Even Nick Young, I wouldn't be mad about. I think D Rose, I would be pretty disappointed about. I've been grinding a lot of my team the last few days and earned a lot of MT, and we're going to be able to lock in this set using exclusively MT. I have sold so much stuff in my collection. Like, I've literally gone through and sold tons of badges down to like three of each. I went through and sold tons and tons of shoe boosts and stuff, especially like gold shoe boosts so much stuff that i went through and sold to make this mt to make especially like the last 50k mt necessary to get this card as y'all can see i got 136,750 and i need 136,500 for this nash card so this will get me another pack locked in and a guaranteed dark matter the first dark matter on my team just hoping that it is not derrick rose before we hop into if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day and i would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado one thing i will say before we hop into this video i am not encouraging y'all to gamble i'm not gambling myself i am Grinding this out, no money spent. Getting this pack done um, to try to add to my team and try to improve my squad as well as to make a video. But I'm not supporting this financially. If you want to lock in these sets, I encourage that. I don't recommend spending money on packs and things of that nature. But locking in these sets, especially with MT, I think is a very reasonable thing to do. So I am excited to lock this set in. I'd be lying if I said I'm not. Buying Steve Nash right here, adding him to the collection. I have 250 MT left, which is absolutely ridiculous nothing but that is what it is we're still grinding for glow nice and i got a lot of games left to go for him so i'll make a lot of that mt back but an eclipse dark matter plus on cello pack theoretically this could also be hunted overall Giannis, but the odds of that are obviously exceedingly low almost certainly this will be a dark matter eclipse player but i am praying for christos Porzingis. i would be so so happy if I saw KP. That's the Dark Matter animation. And that is the first time I've actually seen that animation on my own screen this year. That is a beautiful animation. Very, very cool. Just don't be a Derrick Rose. Please. Anybody else will be at least solid. Larry Bird and KP would be ideal. Give me somebody solid. Larry Bird? Jimmy. Darn, I was hoping it'd be Larry. Jimmy's not bad. That card is very solid. I'm not mad about Jimmy, but I do think it could... Eh, Jimmy's not a bad pull. I think I'm honestly happier about Jimmy than I would have been about Nick Young. I understand Nick Young has the better release, but I actually do think Jimmy's a really good card. Where he fits into my lineup, that I haven't figured out yet, especially once I get SGA. I think he'll, he and uh, Iggy might be my twos. Kobe might not play in my lineup. I don't know. Going to figure it out what's going to go on, but Jimmy, Jimmy's a card who might have a spot in my lineup. That's a pretty exciting pull because I like Jimmy a lot. I did a gameplay with him already. I think he is a very, very good card, and uh, I think Jimmy can definitely compete. Uh, I think he can play small forward if you need him to. I think shooting guard, especially as a secondary ball handle with the shooting guard position, can also be really good. He uh, Does he have Jamal Murray behind the back? I'm trying to remember. I'm actually going to go into freestyle real quickly and check. Um, I was really hoping I'd get KP, man, but I don't know. No, he does. Okay, so not, not, not an insane behind the back, but Kobe, or his own escape, which is good. Good behind the back. Pretty good sigs. Good same side burst. Yeah, I like Jimmy. That's not a bad pull. It's not the best pull it could have been, but it is not a bad pull either. He's also got D-Books Fade, which is actually low-key super cash. So that is uh, really, really nice. It creates a lot of separation. Nice upper. So I think Jimmy's a good car, man. He really is. He's a very, very solid, super usable option to shoot at the small forward position. Maybe there could have been better pulls for me personally than getting Jimmy. But again, I didn't spend any money on it myself anyway. So I'm not going to complain that much. Uh, we've gotten Jimmy. We're making good progress towards SGA. Starting to make good progress towards Glenn as well. And... Probably will be back here again next week, locking in with MT again for the next set, because unfortunately it looks like this gambling only content is kind of here to say. But honestly, Jimmy, I mean, I'm not going to complain about adding him to my lineup. I think he's a really solid card, and I am decently excited about getting him for my team. So with that being said, that is going to do it for today's video. So I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate you all. Peace.